Shake hands. Ask him out fighting. One of those fighters that we say is effective in his awkwardness sometimes. Yeah. In this round, as well as the last. Much to pass by. Naviani go up because his nephew was fighting at the same time elsewhere. McCall facing Hunter without his trainer. Lost by decision. After that, though, he won three straight. Things open. Yeah, That's what we got, Bobby. A good old time crossword of which you were many of them. You were in many of them. Good crisp punching on the inside by Oliver McCall. Going to the uppercut with the left. Right. Himself in the inside. He's not successful. That uppercut is wreaking havoc on Damiani's face. And I think he took a little bit of a page out of Mercer's book. Damiani bleeding from the nose. Less than a minute remaining in round three. And his left eye puffing up. He's beginning to look like a nightmare. Face to punch, but Oliver punches and comes in. Right hand by Damiani. Let's, let's watch that action as McCall drives in. As soon as he punches, he gets in with an uppercut and then smothers Damiani so he can't come back. Nice series of punches from McCall and one of them. The extremely outgoing personality. Very lively and gregarious. Continues to bore in on Damiani. Just a little better chance than what's happening to him right now as his face is coming apart. He's still trying to throw that big right hand down. Damiani, who's 234. Now going to the ribs. Left uppercut once again by McCall. And a comebacker. Using the angle of the punch so the fighters have a more difficult time blocking him. Right now he's doing a hell of a job. And perhaps he did learn well from that loss to Tony Tucker. <laughs> Just not a full court press right now. He's on him, comes, pushes him, grabs him. Damiani trying to fight back. Looking to slam dunk Francesco Damiani here in round. Oh, that tagged Damiani in the head. And Damiani walked right into it. A lunging left by McCall, but a glancing blow. Let's and round five is in the books. There are those uppercuts once again being administered. Combination by McCall. Damiani's nose back in place, actually. I think it's flip-flopping from one side of the face to the other. These impressive uppercuts, the first of which you just saw, and the way that, that he keeps in close to Damiani. And I'd be hard-pressed to give Damiani too many of these rounds outside of those, maybe one or two of those early ones, but the rest has been all McCall on a roll here. They got to keep him steamed up. To, uh, don't let him go to sleep and glide toward these last rounds. He's under, under his chin. He hasn't crossed any. He hasn't done anything to stop the uppercut. He just receives it. About a minute gone by. Something I spoke about earlier with regard to McCall that he had a more consistent. Oh, he's and here he goes. Great. And this could no be again. Quitting. Damiani's quitting just like he did with, with Mercer. His nose. Exactly the same thing. Unbelievable. Exactly the same thing. Punch what done it, as they say. And that is that overhand right, right on the button. Now watch the instant reaction. Uh-oh, that's it. I don't want any more of that. That thing is stopped by his corner, by the referee. By the winner by way of technical knockout, the Atomic Bull, Oliver yes! McCall.